In this five part series, we're going to go from this to this. It's a CNC machine of my own design, which I'm calling the Stupid Strong CNC. In this video, we're gonna tidy up the wires and make our first cuts. Now it's time to clean up all the wires on the machine now that I know it's working so that I can finally call this project done. First thing I wanna do is get all of these wires into a drag chain. Is it drag chain? Drag something. This needs to go somehow on top of this. We'll call it uh, two pieces, five inches long. And with any luck, hopefully it slides right in here. Just like so. Hopefully this will fit on top of it. Perfect. So now I just need to shorten this drag chain and you do that, just prying it open. Doing the same thing. And popping that one on there. And then you go through pull off all these tabs so we can feed the wire in. Got the drag chain all buttoned up. I got some zip ties here I just need to snip. I got these little cable clamps on the back to kind of tidy up these wires a bit. Let's see how our drag chain works. Let's go ahead and fire up the machine. So far so good. Go full speed here. Looks pretty good. And forward. Forward. Looks good to me. Put this little whip on the router plate so that it keeps the cord out of the work area, but I can easily take the cord off if I wanna swap routers or change the bit or something like that. The last thing to do before putting this machine to work was greasing up the rails and drive components and fitting it with a proper wasteboard. Once that was finished, we could move on to our very first project with this machine. A bit of a softball project, I know, but we need some clamps to hold down our workpiece to the wasteboard for future projects. Well, that could not have gone better. 10 out of 10, unbelievable, except that I, you know, drilled with a router bit and burnt it out. Other than that, the machine per performed flawlessly. It drug across the top because I didn't get my retract height right in Fusion. That's not a problem with the machine, that's a problem with me. Everything went amazing. Dust collection is a bit of a problem just on this rail, but that's it. You can see the top one's clean. Having these inverted on this side is awesome. Uh, so maybe I'll put a little shield here or just hook it up with dust collection. Could not be happier. It looks like, I don't even think it touched the waste board. I think it was literally perfect. This was the perfect cut. First project, This no camera tricks. I didn't set this up twice. I didn't redo it. What you saw was the first time that I made a cut on this machine. How lucky is that? Okay, so here they are. I obviously did more damage just using the bandsaw than this entire machine did on its first run, which is kind of sad. This whole thing's got to be drilled and tapped, but then you put them on the corner. And come down, just like that. 
and then the pressure holds the, the piece in place. Unbelievable. I now feel confident if I need a part, I can come right to this machine and cut it out. Echo, turn the recording off. If you'd like to learn how to design parts to cut in a CNC machine like this, we sell an eight hour course called Fusion 360 for hobbyists and woodworkers. I'll leave a link in the description for a $30 off coupon. And in fact, you can watch me design this entire machine from the ground up as part of the extra credit section of that course. 